Morning. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I want to start off with a little joke. Uh, you know how they always start the show Saturday Night Live by saying "Life from New York is Saturday night." I guess we should say "Life from Des Moines is abundant life." You know. That's right. J- James is not the only one with the jokes. Anyway. Uh, I want to share with you a word that the Lord gave me on Friday, uh, based on two different situations that uh, took place, and I'm I'm kind of going to read from this that I that I wrote, but I'll try to make it more of a I don't know a conversation if you want to call it that. Uh, New Year. New blessings, more grace. Today is the first service of 2015, and this is the year of the affirmation, when we will see the manifestation of God's promises in our lives. We start this year with the confidence that God said he'll do, that what God said he'll do, he will do, for he cannot lie. Uh, I've been feeling a restlessness that has awoken in people around us. And they're starting to ask questions, wonder about things. Those are the moments that the Spirit is going to use to speak to those that are searching, whether it is through us or directly to them. Uh, I have a friend at work that she's a non-believer. And recently, um, her two-year relationship ended, so she has been very distraught and you can say even she's been depressed. So a few days ago, she sent me a message at work and she asked me this question. Can I ask you a question about you and your breakup? I said, yes. She said, I don't know how often you get to talk to your wife, but how do you stay so strong and not want to break down every day? So to give you a little bit of backstory, that day when I got to work, I was feeling something in my spirit that had me at ease, but I didn't know what it was. As soon as she asked me that question, I had my answer. So after I read that and I thought for a few seconds uh, about how I was going to answer that, the Spirit gave me the words that I was supposed to tell her. And this was my response to her. The answer I'm going to give you is strictly for me, from my perspective and the things I have experienced. Everything started to change for me when I went to church one day and I told God that I was putting my life in His hands. I started experiencing things that I cannot explain, but I knew that something was happening to me because of it. I have read books, I've been to a marriage counselor, and as I went through those experiences, I started understanding many things that I did not know before. I realized that I did not love my wife like I should have loved her all along. I started seeing her with different eyes, the eyes of the spirit. And I see her now differently, which is what caused me to fall in love with her more than before, regardless of what's happening. I also live my life every day by these three things. Number one, God is love. Number two, I know he will grant me the desires of my heart because his promises to us will come to pass. Number three, if I allow myself to approach others and treat them the way I feel inside, I know things will get better. I know that you and I don't share the same beliefs, but to me, That is what gives me strength every day, and also to get up and say, today is going to be a good day. After I sent her that, uh, you know, before I say this, one thing that I have somewhat struggled with is when, when we talked about how she's feeling when she asked me, I've been wanting to say this for so long, 